Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. If you remember, this peace lily is the one that I saved. It was in such a bad condition. I will put the video, not the video, but the picture somewhere on the screen for you to see. But look how it's growing. It's also blooming absolutely nicely, but the pot is already too small for it. So I'm going to repot it in this one, just a little bit bigger one and with fresh soil. But for the beginning, let's cut all the dry flowers and yellowing old leaves to make it look even prettier and let's repot it. And I will be using this universal potting mix that is suitable for most of the plants. It has perlite in it, worm castings, and it's from Cybersol, my favorite brand for now. And I use it for so many plants. Uh, they have so many different varieties. If you would be interested to try this, they have Corficuses, Hoyas, and Thoriums, and so many other plants. So you can check their website. And if you use my code, you will have 10% discount in case you are interested. So for the beginning, let me maybe take it out of the pot. This is a... Ooh, that's absolutely the right time to repot it because look at the roots! Isn't this cool? This is so pretty and I'm so happy because this plant was almost dead to be honest. It was in very cold autumn outside completely rotten with black leaves and look at it now. So let's just remove a couple of old leaves and the flowers as well to give it kind of fresh look. And we will take it out of the pot and plant it. It should be really easy and fast as well. So let's cut these roots. Oh, sorry, roots, the leaves. <laughs> it's always, you know, sometimes I watch the recordings and I'm like, why do I call a root a leaf and a leaf a root? But when you are in front of the camera and when you're thinking, do they even hear you? Like now, for example, I don't know if my mic is working because the battery may, may be dead and the voice will be pretty shitty. So you're thinking about the light, the, the audio, the sound basically, if they see the plant, am, am I in the center of the video? So there are so many things that are going on in your brain when you record a video. So that's why sometimes I say different stupid things. Sorry for that. So, one more leaf, this must be enough and the dead flower is also gone. Don't be afraid to repot your peace lilies when they are blooming. You can of course wait uh, for your plant to be done with flowering and only then re repot, but you can see the roots and it's already so overdue, like I should have repotted it earlier. And now as it's spring, I want to repot it now so that, you know, it has the whole season in front of it to grow. And yeah, I don't want to wait until the flowers will be gone because peace lilies flower for six, eight months. So I don't want to keep this poor baby in this small pot for longer months. So now let's take it out of the pot actually. Let maybe, let's maybe do this. So let's open this and use a little bit of this soil already here at the bottom. I think this must be enough. We will see. Okay. And then slightly, first, I always recommend if they grow in plastic pots, squeeze from the sides. And don't be afraid also if some of the roots will be a little bit torn. This can happen here as well, but that's fine. They will not be damaged. Don't pull from the plant because again, you can damage the plant, but try to basically hold it from the base as uh, deep as possible and then pull the pot, not the plant. Okay, look at this. Oh my God, look at this. Wow, let's remove this top layer. I think I used pond to be honest because last winter I also had fungus nuts and you, in this case you can just cover the soil like one two centimeters with sand or here in this case I used pond and it should be enough. If you want you can also actually propagate it by the way. I can maybe actually 
Let's propagate it too because it has so many babies already growing. One. Uh, shall we do one more? Let's do one, even two more maybe. I'm going to just pull the babies out. <laughs> Look at how cute. And we will have several. Nice. This one also. So we will have three babies. Slightly pulling. It comes out by itself. Look at the roots. Absolutely amazing babies and we will plant them separately. Maybe I will even sell them or swap with other plants. By the way, I decided to start selling plants as well because I constantly have so many propagations and there's not enough um, place for them. And of course, now I decided, okay, I will have a specific shelf for propagations and I will start selling them. Let's see. So just massaging slightly the roots so that they start to grow in different directions, not in circle anymore. Don't really try to break them up a lot, not to damage it. So let's see. No, that's too deep. Let's put a little bit of more soil here. This soil smells so good. <laughs> it's like, like forest smell. Perfect. Just like this. And now let's just add more soil. Let's see if I can do it this way. It's a little bit narrow. Oops, the, the bag is a little bit narrow. Just like this. basically just add soil from all sides all right. instead of watering now I will just take it to the shower and um, wash it so the water will go uh, down the soil and the plant will be also watered that way for the first time because I feel that um, the leaves are a little bit dusty and also um, the, the older flowers, they have the pollen all over the leaves. So that's why you see these white dots here and there. So we'll wash this plant too. Let's see. Okay, just like this. A little bit from this side. And it's ready. So always try to uh, repot your peace lily in spring and the right time is when it has root bound. So basically when it doesn't have more place to grow, that's the time to repot it. If you have any questions, if you would like to know anything else, how I grow, how I propagate, how I water them, which soil, what nutrients, anything about peace lily, please write all the questions in the comments and I will pick maybe three best questions, best in terms of the, the most valuable uh, questions for everyone else to learn about Peace Lily and I will record a specific video based on these three questions tagging you in my videos. Of course, if you like the video, please also subscribe, like the video and share with your friends because that's the free way to reach more people and help more people grow beautiful and healthy plants to make us feel happier more relaxed and comfortable in our homes. Stay passionate about plants and I will see you in the next one.